Hi guys, uh, to a little video to explain uh, how to configure your game to minimize the input lag and uh, play better with a game that works properly. Because a lot of people have been complaining that they had insane input lag, the, the thing here, and that they didn't know how to fix it to, and it prevented them from playing properly and stuff. So this video is made for you. Uh, I will explain what what causes the input lag and um, how you can solve the problem. So this video is made for people who are using Windows Vista 7, 8 and 10 or 8.1 as well but that's the same thing. I doubt anyone is using Vista anymore but you know just in case. If you're, if you're using Windows XP there's no um, uh, Windows Iro, the Iro theme, that's what gives you input lag when playing windowed uh, so you're not concerned by that but if you are using Windows 7, 8 or 10 this video is for you uh, on Windows 7 you can disable the Aero theme uh, basically it's what makes Windows look beautiful blah 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 the, the thing at the bottom and shit how to, to disable it it's simply you go on your desktop you right click anywhere uh, you go into uh, graphical options or something not graphical options, but uh, what's what is it? Personalize something like that. I don't have Windows 7 right now, so I can show you. But um, and then you scroll down the, the theme list and you put the basic theme. It will look like shit, but Aero will be disabled and you will be able to play Windows without input lag. Now, if you're if you're using uh, Windows 8 or 10, um, you can't disable the Aero theme. So. You can't play windowed without input lag and that's a problem um, to solve this problem baby made something really nice i'm going to show you right now it's called letterboxing to to um to go around the aero theme of windows you need to play full screen that's that's for any game you play like Freaking, I don't know, CSGO, League, whatever game you play, OSU. If you're playing in windowed or in full screen windowed or whatever it's called, it's not because your game takes your entire screen that it's full screen. If full screen is not ticked, you're not playing in full screen. That's that's something you need to know. If full screen is not ticked, you're not full screen. And the IRL theme is applied and you're limited to your, um, to your monitor's uh, refresh rate, which is probably 60 FPS. Or something like that, whatever. Uh, but yeah, if you're playing with full screen disabled, then you have insane input lag and you're limited to 60 FPS. If the game shows 2000 FPS and you're in windowed, it is not 2000 FPS, I'm telling you. It is limited. And um, it makes it annoying to play and pretty much unplayable. Um, so yeah, you need to tick full screen. Now you're gonna tell me, yeah, but I like to play windowed, I'm used to play windowed, what the fuck, how do I play full screen? Letterboxing, letterboxing is here for you. You tick full screen, then you tick letterboxing, I'm not gonna do it now because it's gonna screw up the OBS uh, recording. But yeah, you tick full screen, then letterboxing, and then you set the resolution you like, the one you're using on windowed, say uh, 1366 by 768, and you will have your game in windowed with black borders. Uh, it will be full screen with your window resolution. Obviously we, you will not see the, the desktop behind as you used to in windowed but you will have your window resolution in full screen which is nice. So no input lag and still windowed. Great! Um, so yeah that's the first step you need to have full screen ticked. If not, you're gonna have insane input lag, unless you're on Windows 7 and you disabled Aero as I said before. But if you're on 8 or 10, you can, so tick full screen. It's necessary, if you don't, I can't do anything for you. <laughs> now the second step, because that was just the first one, the frame limiter. Uh, the input lag is determined by your frame rate as well. Uh, mainly your frame rate. If you're playing full screen, there's nothing that impacts your input lag aside of your frame rate normally unless you have some dumb programs running in the background which can uh, impact your performance uh, so take care of that yourself I guess 
Uh, but yeah, uh, the frame limiter. You want to use unlimited. Why? Because your objective is to get one millisecond or less. Obviously, if you don't have a freaking, I don't know. If, if you don't have a, a really good PC, it's gonna be hard to 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 have a decent input lag that's like under 0.6 or whatever. I mean, under one is enough. It's 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 really enough. One or less is what you want. Okay, under is pretty much unnecessary, but whatever. Um, and to reach that, you need 1,000 frames per second. It's not exactly that, but usually 1,000 frames per second is one millisecond of input lag. That's how it works in Osu, at least. Don't know about other games, but in Osu, that's how it works. So you want to have the maximum frame rate you can get. And that's achieved by using unlimited. It's only gameplay, so it, it means that it will be um, limited everywhere else. So in the menu, the map section, screen. Uh, it's limited to 1K, actually. 1000 frames per second. And in gameplay, you can go above. Um... Now, the thing is, some people are gonna lag a shit ton by using Unlimited because their computer is gonna struggle because your your GPU is gonna try to give the maximum it can and usually it's gonna stutter and stuff. Well, not usually, but like if you have a bad one, it's gonna struggle and you're gonna have frame drops. Uh, how to solve frame drops? Okay, first, there's something you can do is stick this uh, because recently a change was made in the game and, and some people had frame drops for no reason, me included, so uh, just stick that, I mean, even if you don't have problems, sticking it might help for some reason, uh, but yeah, you can just stick it, it won't cause you any problem, it will mostly solve any problem you can have, and if you still have frame drops, what you can do is set a, a customized uh, frame limiter, I'm gonna show you how to do this, so first you need to close your game, if you don't, it's not gonna work, so close your game, see you next time. You go to your OSU folder, and in your OSU folder, the main folder, you will have a file that's called osu dot your osu username dot cfg. You open that with um, the the notepad, and you look for the line custom frame limit. What's right there? You, you just Control F, that brings that up. You type custom frame or something. You will find the line, okay? This is the line you want. By default, this is going to be 240. That's the, um, the FPS limit that's set up. You can change it to whatever you want. You can put 9000 if you want. It's pretty much going to be the same as Unlimited since you can't reach... I don't think anyone reached 9000 FPS on Osu ever, but maybe. So you want to like test. You know, if, if Unlimited gives you problems because of frame drops, uh, because your GPU is struggling, uh, then you might want to set up something here. So just try stuff. As I said, 1k FPS is around 1 millisecond of input lag, so that's what you want. But try above that, like 1k5 for example. So to try that, you just put 1k5. You save the you save the file. Uh, you open your game again. Welcome to us. Welcome to us. So you just open your game. You can you can press F7 to change, you know, and or do it in the options, select it, and um, you just try, you know, you you play a couple maps. Sometimes the la the game will lag on the first map. That's something that happens. So just try several maps, you know, just play through the maps. And if you have frame drops, just close the game, go back to the ASU folder, change the custom frame limit to something lower, you know. But try to, to, to get as much FPS as you can without lagging. Uh, so that's that's pretty much all you can do to improve your... Uh, your Not your gameplay, but the, the playability of the game. Um, so yeah, that's, that's necessary. The two things you need to know and to do. Take full screen and use unlimited FPS. Or a custom one if your GPU can't support unlimited. So yeah, that's it for the video, uh, I hope it helped you in some way, and uh, yeah, see ya!